Hello again everyone, thank you for watching my last video and I thought since I did my behind the scenes for my last video I thought I'd start doing behind the scenes after I finish every building because well when I started I was very unconfident just you know just talk in general on YouTube but you know I got, got over that pretty quick to be fair because I got 200 videos out and like 190 of them are uh, me talking constantly uh, now I can't stop talking and that's what pisses everyone off now <laughs> um, Okay, jokes aside, anyway, um. Hmm, hold on. What's the floor doing down there? What? Hold on. Hmm. Okay, what do you know? Just a quick little let's build thing, I guess. Because I freaking forgot to do that. There we go. Um, if you guys are wondering why I keep, like, doing this to, like, lower, um, everything. It's because when you place the object in the game, it uh it looks better if it's like um if it's been pushed down like this. So that way, if there's like you know a crappy slope, there's nothing clipping out on the terrain or something. So uh, maybe this is just a little bit lower, but it you know keeps its detail, just that bit of detail, you know. Oop. Oh, I see what happens. Okay. Um. Now you're never going to see the underneath of it, so there's no point of having extra textures underneath. Oop, no. So the idea is, you have this whole um, bottom covered so no one can see like the sides of it, just to give it that extra detail, you know? So just so the, the castle, uh, castle, church isn't sticking out from one angle, you won't be able to see that. Just to... Uh, keep your immersion in it, all that stuff. So it doesn't look very good that you have this stuff going straight down in the Edler, but it does ma uh, it does really add up when you're um playing the game and everything. So even if there's just like a little step here or something, or if it's just like just right, and like on the other side it's like like really down, uh you won't be able to see the um the terrain screwed up because of that. So that's the reasoning for that. Also you don't need that bottom polygon, it's just it's like one polygon uh, that's just wasting performance. I mean, like I did I say that in the last video? I think I did. Um, like I said in the last videos, um, performance will be a big thing. Um, you're probably gonna need a pretty big PC to be able to handle the the game that I intend to design with my friend. Um, I just need to raise that a little bit so the shadows don't screw up. So this red line and green line. The red and green line represent what you'll see in game. This bottom part is like pretty much an insurance method. So you know if there's like you know a bit of terrain. Oh, I feel like doing it. I was gonna just give you an example, but bugger it. Bugger examples. Uh, this took me freaking ages. What? It's it's 9 p.m. now. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna check my footage. Uh, I wonder how long I worked for. Ooh, that's a lot of footage now. <laughs> um, okay, so this is what I'm currently recording, so let's look at this lot. Um, oh, that's audio, so... Now, the way Bandicam works is, for some reason, um, it has track 1, which is, like, all the sound, but the track one's also inbuilt into the video, which is kind of weird, so I don't know why it has this as well. Track 2 is my audio, my microphone, so there's no point of track 1, so I always delete it. Uh, anyway, uh, let's just select all this. This is so... I'm just deviating. Okay, so apparently I only worked on a one and a half hours. I guess I spent quite a bit of time off camera as well, so about two hours I worked on it. Um, anyway, one topic. I'm just going to turn off edges just to make it a little, a little bit better. Mm, yeah, just a little bit better. I want to change the angle just to get a little bit better shading. Uh, it's, yeah, I love this. I love doing this sort of thing. <whistles> Lovely. Uh, actually, you know what? Just to, just so I don't have to see the, you know, the, the thing at the bottom. Um, how do I enable that again? Um, uh, it was in styles, wasn't it? Uh, oh yeah, ground. Uh, no, it's not quite actually. Nope. Um. No. 
No. Stop screwing around with me. I don't know why I'm trying to get a good color. Whatever. You know, that that's that's what it would look like in game. You know, just not ridiculously flat and ugly looking grass. <laughs> but yeah, this is sort of what it looks like. Um, the roof isn't finished. I'll probably have a better texture for that soon enough. I just, I, I just don't have the right tile texture. I tried different tile textures that I already have used in previous models, and one new one, but it just doesn't work. The, um, the straw roof doesn't match the church because it is actually a somewhat of a rich church. It's got glass. It's got a bell tower. It's got a cross. Well, actually, the cross isn't very valuable, but you know what I mean. The grass and the architecture is pretty expensive. The roof is just rubbish. I need, I do, I do need to change that. I mean, if this was just, you know, some useless chapel, it'd be shorter. It'd have no windows. It'd um, have a lower roof, and it would, yeah, it just wouldn't have as many. See, I don't even have the seats in yet, but that's because of my um, my artist that's doing the furniture for me hasn't gotten anything done yet. Uh, so I'm doing all the architecture. He's doing the furniture and um, like characters and stuff. He's also doing the programming and some of the music composing, but most of the music's covered by Kevin McLeod. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I keep deviating. Uh, what's wrong with me today? Oh, I know everything. Um, anyway, the bell. You probably didn't know where I got this from. I didn't build it straight off. I I just not in the mood to build a bell. Because I'm like, well, I'm pretty sure I have a model that looks a bit like a bell, so you know what, I think I'll just use that instead. Uh, that is the cannon. So this is what looks like a bell. So let's just go backwards. Come on. Okay, so it's actually a cannon. There, so this is where I started at. Now, i got to say, I love this cannon. I just love the way it looks. Oh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> On topic. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, this is, you know, the, the cannon base, then I cut out all that, and then I just put them together, and there you go, you got a freaking perfect looking bell, pretty much, surprisingly. I'm actually really surprised how that turned out. Um, so yeah, obviously I based this off of a picture of some real life English church by the looks, but it does have its own styles, like the, the windows here are a little bit different. The back is completely unique. Um... And it's got different textures and all. But yeah, I did go for the base style. But that's what you do when you when you do models. You look at concept art and you model it. So 2D to 3D. Usually you have a, you'd have a concept artist to um you know like draw up um draw up like uh like like you know 2D art and then the modeler will copy that concept art to make it 3D. I don't really have a uh, architectural con uh, concept artist. I have a character concept artist, but we don't really have a big deal for him, to be honest. Maybe when we start doing character armor, we'll use him, but no. We don't honestly have much purpose for you. I'm talking about you, Zachary, by the way, if you're watching this. Oh, uh, yeah, Zachary, he appeared in some of my earlier videos. I haven't done much for him in a while, but yeah. Um, yeah, he's actually pretty good at drawing drawing uh, characters so we thought he'd be good for a character concept artist if we ever need one. Oh crap I just realized something alright well you know so this turns out to be like a little cleanup as well as a vlog um so I gotta clean that up actually surprised I forgot about that <laughs> oops Dab. Uh, so it's getting a little bit laggy this building. So my processing, my my computer's processing is getting a little bit slower. Uh, it's not too laggy. I wouldn't have to worry about lag if I just turned off the shadows, but the shadows are just too good to give up, you know. Okay. So wait, what was this? What's that? What is that? Hmm. Okay, well, that's I just never. Must have been something I accidentally deleted during production. <laughs> Alright, so it is clean up pretty much. It's clean up duty. Oh, well, it's not gonna take a while. Oh, oh. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks everyone that's watched all my, um, my, um, 
all of my 3D modeling videos and watching through this vlog here. Um, I haven't done many vlogs, but the few I've done have been usually milestones and stuff. Uh, also the Christmas one just yesterday. Uh, this is the 26th that I'm recording this. Uh, you can probably see right there. So yeah. Um, yeah, I'm probably gonna release this a day after I recorded it, just because I already have a um, just because I already have a model released um, for today. But maybe I'll I'll get something else out. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing half the time. I just release whatever I want whenever I want. Wait. Oh, better, better get rid of that as well. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? Uh. Okay. Okay, so somehow this just managed to... <laughs> what the hell? Um... Okay, so somehow it managed to just do something weird. I, I don't know how. But, okay, uh, I seem to have fixed it, but I better get the brand texture. So I thought for one... Oh. Oh, bugger it. <laughs> I thought for once I'd actually change like a little bit of the different colors just to get a little bit more detail out of the ro uh, out of the stone. So uh, the uh, the detailing is a little bit the detailing of the windows and stuff is a little bit yellower just to try and highlight it. And then this one's just you know a bit grayer and duller. It uh it makes it look uh, just that tad bit just that tad tad bit uh, more detailed. Just a tad. Yeah, um, I'm really loving uh, the models I've done recently. It's starting to look really nice. Oh, hold on, I'm just gonna quickly make a small little scene for you guys better watch. Uh, so like I said yesterday, I um, on my other uh, behind the scenes vlog thing, I I made seven of these straw houses, and they took me quite a long while. Uh, thankfully, I learned techniques while I was doing it to make it a bit faster, but it was still pretty, pretty slow. I better group them. Uh, by the way, I actually, um, I actually linked my Facebook account in this video. Um, I don't, I'm not really, I'm not really too worried about it. I mean. You know, stranger danger and all that, but yeah, bugger it. I mean, I I never really cared about hiding my my full name, to be honest. I mean, everyone I've added on Skype pretty much knows my full name because I forgot to change it early on. But you know, whatever. <laughs> I don't, it's not a big deal. Not for me anyway. I should probably want to get a different building that time. All right. This was a little bit bulky and ugly looking, in my opinion. I'm not a really big fan of that one, so I'll just use this one instead. Oh, um, right. I always consider this one sort of like a shed because it's so small. Oh, I just realized these aren't the um, these aren't the interior ones. Ooh, better delete these then. <laughs> such an well, I am, aren't I? Ah, uh, such an idiot. Don't even know how to use my own stuff. Let's just stick to uh, straw stuff. Let's just save. Oh, no, no. Save. Just so I don't just forget. Some more on. I think I'll just get a bunch of different uh, models put in first. No, no, no. No, I'm not going to use stone too much. I want to use the, t the straw house more. I actually like the both of them. They're both really cool. Both the stone and uh, Tudor. Well, it's not even Tudor. It's straw. What am I talking about? It does look like Tudor, but it's not Tudor. It's it's not even straw. It's um. I mean, the roof straw, but the uh, what do you call it? Ah, oh, I talked about this last time, and I keep forgetting. The waddle, 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 waddle. What, what was it called? Damn, I'm just remembering the wrong. What what waddle? Dorp, waddle and dorp, that's it. I had to check the texture then, just because I'm an idiot. 
Oh, just re added that. Yeah. Waddle and Daub. Yeah, I prefer the Waddle and Daub texture pack to the um to the uh, the stone texture pack. I mean, they both look very medieval. I just well, like I said in the last video, I just love the um the whole the whole um style that they used. It's very lovely looking. Okay, I'll just grab a few stones. I'll grab the first stone one. Well, you know, I haven't even positioned them, but they already look nice. Like, they already, you know, they're all, um... They're just, they're all blending into the scene, if you know what I mean. I'm sure you do. Now, this one I love. I, I've, I've... This has always been my favorite Tudor house I've ever made because it's like a legit like townhouse sort of thing. Um, but I made the interior um, yesterday on the day of Christmas. Spent away from my my family, but I said that in the last vlog. I don't need to repeat myself, which I know I do all the time. Yeah. Let's just turn off the shadows just while I replace them with stuff. Um. So one of my one of my I wouldn't say fans, but one of my viewers um, has been very inspired by my work, and um, I'm really happy to hear that. Can't remember his name. Sorry, bless you. I uh, can't remember your name. Sorry about that. But you're, uh, you've been an inspiration to me for be me being an inspiration to you, if that makes any sense at all. Basically, what I mean is um, whenever, you know, people... You see stuff about my st my 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 artwork and you're like it's really good and um it always makes me more inspired and want to do more work. I mean that's sort of common sense. Everyone should know that. Um, but yeah, it's definitely true. I I really do appreciate anything you guys uh, say. Uh, positively, that is, I don't appreciate everything you say, but you you know what I mean. Yeah. So, uh, who are you guys today? <laughs> just ran out of stuff to say, so I guess I'll just, uh, go to the old, uh, the old classical asking what you're up to as if you can hear what I'm saying real time. You're just going to reply to me in real time as well. Uh, no, that's not how YouTube works. Streams do, but I don't even know how streams work, honestly. I mean, like, everyone uses streams these days, and I'm like, what, what? How do streams work? I'm so stupid. I am so stupid. So, yeah, the processing is getting slower. It's getting much, much slower. So, basically, it looks like the game's not going to have be able to have huge, huge cities, or at least not... S single cell cities like um fable had pretty fable 2 anyway had pretty big cities and they well then again Bowerstone market was uh pretty decently sized but it had loads of cells and you had to you know move between these cells but you know at least you didn't have to walk through uh at least you didn't have to go through a loading door every single house that was something that I'd said, well, it was so much better than Oblivion in this area. One thing I said wasn't better than Oblivion was the world size. The world size in Fable was so small. And the quest size it was even smaller. Ugh. The quests. The lack of quests. I never liked that. Yeah, Fable 2 never had enough quests for me. Didn't have enough free roam, world to explore, and all that. Oblivion had so much more in that particular area. Though Fable... Fable was more filling in its size, I'd say. Like, Oblivion was just like a big world space for the sake of it, whereas Fable just filled out every area they had, you know? They made every detail, every area beautiful, whereas Oblivion and Skyrim and all that were, um, sure they were beautiful, but they spread out that detail. They spread out that detail in a long, long area. Therefore, their detailing isn't, you know, determined to be, um, at every single area. 
So I don't think that's much much an excuse for Fable 2 not having too much of a big world. But pfft, whatever. They still won in Oblivion uh, and Skyrim in that area. Of course, Fable 3 was awful, but you know, pfft, yeah. Have you ever played Fable 3? Don't. No. Nah, nah, nah. I, I wouldn't say that. If you like the other Fable games, definitely try Fable 3, but I doubt you'll like it. It's a decent game. Uh, they removed the infantry system, which is awful. Absolutely awful. Uh, there were some highlights. Um, uh, it's going to be a while to think of. What are the highlights? What are the highlights? Oh, someone help me. What are the highlights? Um, <laughs> I don't know. What are the highlights? Highlights. What are the highlights? Oh, crap. I did not mean to select that. I'm trying to think of what what makes Fable 3 good. <laughs> Um, well, I guess the fact you can get married and stuff on uh, Fable 3 was kind of interesting. I mean, Fable 3 multiplayer was a little bit better. A little bit. was still pretty buggy, though. Um, I'd say the best thing about Fable 3 was a, it was the first PC port. I mean, seriously, it was a PC port so bloody hard. Fable 2 was my favorite Fable game, but they never released it for PC. I'm like, why not? I've replayed that game so many times and they've never released it. And I'm like, what's wrong with you guys? Uh, they did plan a PC report, uh, but the fact that they didn't is what pisses me off. They could have, but they didn't. That is what I'm pissed off with. <sighs> Jeez. I mean, there was so much modding potential, there was so much. Oh, uh, I, I don't know. It's just such a beautiful game that was ruined for the fact that it was never released for PC. And I would consider that being ruined. I, I, I don't even, I can't even play Xbox anymore. I'm just sick of it. I'm like, no, I can't play the Xbox anymore. I just, no. I can't touch it. I just, no. I bought Halo 4, never played it. Literally never played it. I just never, never picked it up because I'm like, no, I don't want to play this shitty Xbox again. No. Um, sorry everyone who plays Xbox, but you're all suck. Nah, <laughs> uh, no, nah, I used to like the Xbox, but I'm just sick of it. Uh, PS3 is, uh, better in ways, but ultimately, consoles just suck in comparison to PC. It really does. You guys don't know what you're missing if you only play consoles. You really don't know what you're missing. I mean, if you have a good PC, you can do stuff like I do right now, right this second. If you have the skill, but you know, whatever. I mean, I'm not that skilled, but I guess I'm more skilled than most people, I suppose, but you know, whatever. I'm still not really that talented. There are so many people with so much better. Go away, I fast. There are so many people with so much better um, skill at modeling than me. It kind of pisses me off. I'm like, oh, why can't I be as good as these guys? I've, I've been practicing for like four years. That's about right at this point. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Well, it doesn't matter. I like just doing stuff at my own pace. I don't care what other people are modeling. What they can model, I'll just do what I do. What I do best. 3D modeling architecture. Because it's fun. Now, I know um, everyone complains about um, Google SketchUp not being a very good modeler. And I agree, it's not really that good a modeler. But it's the only thing I know. And when it's the only thing you know, what else can you do, right? These, yeah, these are really out of place. Let's just bugger off them. I need to get more, like, varied, um, Tudor, sort of, like, um, I need to get more varied Tudor townhouses. Like, I only have one right now, which is the one you saw. And it's just, it's good, but it's just too samey. I can't. If I want to make like big cities, I can't just have the same thing repeating itself constantly. That's boring. The thing that Fable 2 did good is it had loads of different looking um, villages and cities and stuff. Well, it didn't have lots, but it had a few unique cities. I mean, I say that because they don't really have that many cities at all. <laughs> Would have been good if they did. Uh, that's me rambling on as always. Hmm. 
I would definitely say Fable 2 was a beautiful, uh, more beautiful world than any Elder Scrolls game yet. Um, I mean, it is a more cartoonish style, sure, but the architecture, the city design, everything just looks so much better. Especially, like, you know, the terrain in the woods and everything. But what about the monsters? Do the monsters look better? Hmm. Fable 2 always lacked a large variety of monsters. They, you know, they have, like... Probably about seven or eight different monsters per game with different ranks, but that's about it. Whereas like World of Warcraft has like what like a hundred different creatures, but you know, it's an MMO, but that's not the point. Um Oblivion, how much did that have? I don't even know. I think it had like twenty, thirty creatures. Probably more than actually to be honest. There's like uh oh, what I probably could count it on one hand, but probably two hands actually. Um let's see. Um Holloman I do like the, I do like how they introduce them though. They have this like caption, and then they have like the creature showing its face. That was always cool though. Okay, so the bandit, um, the hobbies, they're weird. Hollowman, um, werewolf things, balverines. There were, that's four. Uh, the 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 witch things, and uh, not witch, uh. Lich, like 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 wraiths. That's what I meant, wraiths, sort of thing. Or banshees, they were called banshees. What else was there? Oh, there's a spy god. Um, that's six. Highwaymen. Now, oh, technically they're bandits, but whatever. Highwaymen. Um. Well, technically the gods are a enemy if you know you cross them. Um. Oh, the shadow creatures. To be fair, that's that's like literally it. I mean, the shadow creatures—they're pretty much just the same models, but with um, the black texture and like a shadowy sort of lens uh, effect going on. So that's like nine different creatures, or well, eight creatures, but the shadows being everything but being a shadow of it. So I guess eight and one. Nah, I don't know. Let's turn off thingy, turn off shadows. Pretty. Let's change the shadows a little bit. I just want to get a little bit better looking shading. I'm not sure if that's much better, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm gonna just lower the darkness. Just. Yeah. There we go. Sometimes the shadows are just a little intense. Let's just get rid of these. Bucker it. They're in the way. We want to get get a good shot of the town center. So, that's the castle. And this is a small little example village. I do have, like, the palisade walls, which I could probably set up, but bugger it. Actually, you know what? I'll just set up one thing. Get rid of that. Don't need that. Auto save. Um. Modules, objects. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? What a well. Come on, load. There we go. Um. There is probably something else I can add in. The cargo carts and stuff. They look pretty cool. So yeah, basically just re-releasing every model I made. For my like last packs and stuff, but made them for um, made them have in 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 insides insides interiors. I was gonna say interiors, but I've got what word to use because I don't speak English. It's not my first language. It it is, but I failed school, so yeah, <laughs> I failed school. Yay, pretty. Pretty castle, uh, there's a church, whatever. Pretty church, pretty, uh, cart, pretty, pretty houses, and pretty waterfall thing. Where, uh, a fountain? It's not a fountain, it's not a waterfall, it's a, it's a well. I am an idiot. So, sorry for keeping you too long and just carrying on and talking about the randomness stuff ever, but, um, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this behind the scenes vlog of the church, and, um, I hope you guys check out more of my stuff, and, uh, 
please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're into this sort of thing. Um, every like and sub subscription and comment really helps. It really enthuse. It really enthusiates me. In in it really inspires me. <laughs> I'm gonna use words I know. <laughs> uh, but yeah, if you if you could at least leave a comment, just tell me what you liked about it, how I could improve and stuff. Um, that's also really appreciated. In fact, probably more so. Um, but yeah. Thanks everyone, and see you later.